Okay, so what we're going to be demonstrating today is how to connect the Samsung Airline 77 wireless headset microphone to the Yamaha Stage Pass mixers. So, the first thing that you want to do, okay, is you want to take the wireless headset and you want to make sure that you have a fully charged see right. if we open the top here you can open the top here by pulling this bit down can you see that little tab here if you pull down on that right that will reveal a battery compartment inside here right and you want to make sure you've got a fully charged AAA battery installed in here before your event okay and that battery will give you eight hours of usage now there is a difference between AA batteries and AAA batteries, and I just want to quickly show you that now. So if you have a look here, the one on the right is an AA battery, and it's slightly larger in size, and the one on the left is an AAA battery. So when you go to buy your batteries, make sure you get the AAA type, okay? Because if you try to get these and put them in, it's gonna to be too big and it's not gonna fit. So got that out of the way. So once you've installed your fresh battery, just put the cover back on, okay, and then what you do is you just switch it on from here. So as you can see, there is a power switch and there is a mute switch. And once you've put your battery in and you switch it on from here, you will see a red LED come on inside here. So watch this. Did you see that red LED? Do it again. That means your battery is working and the headset is live, okay? And what I do recommend is you just leave that on throughout the event. There's no need to turn this off. Um, you can mute it from here as well if you want. There's a little mute switch down here. But normally I would just say leave this on and control the volume from the mixer if possible. Okay, so that's that out of the way. Now the other thing that I want to bring to your attention is for the best sound, Right, when you put this over your head and this microphone comes to the corner of your mouth, try to keep this two centimeters from the corner of your mouth. And the easy way to do that is just get your two fingers, right, when you fit it on. And if you can fit two fingers between the corner of the microphone head and the corner of your mouth, then that's perfect. You'll get the perfect sound. Okay, so that's everything that there is to check on the headset part. Let's move over to the receiver. So this here is the wireless receiver. Okay. And we need to set some stuff up and check some stuff here before we move over to the mixer. So the first thing you want to do is when you at your venue, you want to bring these two up. These two are the wireless antennas and they are what pick up the signal from the headset. Okay. So you want to make sure they're in the up position. When you're finished and you're traveling around and you're trying to put it back in the box, just put them down like this and it'll, be, it'll make it easier to store. Okay, so we'll bring these two up. Okay, and what you do is first of all, come around the back. Okay, and get your XLR cable. Right, XLR cable looks like this and the other end has got three pins on it. Okay, plug your XLR cable into here where it, where it says balance output plug your XLR cable into here and the other end of the XLR cable you will put into your mixer and I'll show you that in a minute okay so you've connected that you've connected the XLR cable then what you're going to do is you are going to connect your power cable this here is the power cable okay and the power cable has an end on it that looks like this Right, I think that's quite clear. So you're going to take this piece here and you're going to plug it into the power socket here. Can you see here there's a power socket? Just here. There's a power socket just here. Okay, you're going to plug your power socket into here. Right, you can see that quite clearly. And then the other end obviously is going to go into your plug. Okay, so you've plugged your power socket and you've plugged your XLR cable. So there's one other setting that you need to set on here. Can you see where it says mic 
and uh, line, right? So you should always make sure that this is set to the line position, okay? Here would be mic and here would be line. So you should always set it to the line position, okay? Otherwise, the sound that comes out from here would be too low, right? Now, let's turn around to the front and let's talk about the settings here. The front is very simple, right? On this one, what I've done is I've marked a white line on the, uh, on the volume control knob and I've also put a mark on the receiver. So as long as you match those two lines up around about there, that will give you the perfect output or the perfect volume that you want. If you have it too high, you'll get distortion. So mark, mark up those two lines and um, if you haven't got those lines on, you can see where I've set it about and you can set yours to the same position. Okay, then all you need to do is press the power button and it will come on. It will come on and a red light will glow here. And that's all there is to setting up the headset and the receiver. Right, let's move over to the mixer and uh, let's discuss how you're going to set up the mixer. Okay, so we've got the Yamaha mixer in front of us now. The 400 and the 600, they're slightly different, but they look exactly the same. On the 600, you've got a few extra green knobs here. Um, but, but apart from that, it's, uh, it's pretty similar. Now, all you're going to do, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take that cable. Remember this XLR cable, right? And you're going to plug that end, the end that comes out of the wireless headset. And you're going to plug that into this socket here. Okay? So this socket here, one end of that XLR cable plugs in here and the other end plugs into the back of the wireless receiver, okay? So once you've plugged that in here, right, the second thing that you're going to do is this button here, it says if it's pressed in, it's on line, and if it's pressed out, it's on mic. So you want to have this pressed out, okay, and it needs to be on mic. The next thing that you need to check is all the green knobs that you've got, they should be exactly in the center where that triangle is. Okay, so all the green knobs should be exactly in the center. Here you've got your reverb, which is the, a blue knob. This one, you, you want to have it turned up all the way down to here. Okay, so all the way to the right. The next knob that you're going to set is this knob here. And the way you set this knob is quite simple. Can you see that arrow over here, the black arrow? So what you do is you take it up to the black arrow, right? And then you bring it two notches back. One, two. Okay. So that's quite I'll just repeat that to show you. So you, you start from uh you start from the end, you go all the way up to the arrow, and you come back two notches, one, two. Okay. That's all you need to set down here. Then what it is, make sure the echo setting here is set to all the way to the right here where it says echo okay and then what you do is you obviously you're going to plug your speakers in okay and you're going to plug your power wire in here as well your speakers are going to plug in here uh, and your power wire will plug into here now what you're going to do is you're going to switch it on okay after you switch it on you will use this red button here to control how high you want the volume to be Okay, so you will start speaking into the microphone and the sound will come out, the speakers. And how loud do you want that sound to be? You will control from this red button here. Okay, if you take it too loud, it will start to distort. So you know that you just bring it down a little bit until it sounds right. Okay, so that's your main volume control. If you want to have echo on your microphone, okay, all you have to do is press this button here. When you press this button in, the button that says reverb on it, right, a yellow light will come up here and that will tell you that the echo is switched on. Now when you speak, you will have echo in the output of your voice. And when you want to switch the echo off, just press, press this button again and the yellow light will go off and that means the echo is off. And that is all there is to setting up the Samsung Airline 77 wireless headset microphone with the Yamaha Stage Pass Mixer. Bye for now, and have a nice day.